Hey buddies, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live. This is a special mini show and trailer for... We don't usually do these little miniature Nintendo Directs. They're barely ever worth like do, starting a show up for, but this is for Animal Crossing. <laughs> so it's for Becky. <laughs> it's this for me. is all for Becky's birthday. Happy birthday, Becky. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Animal Crossing comes out how long? Um, one month. And that also means that, um, that also means that Doom Eternal is coming out in one month, right? It's true. And it's it comes true. out while Becky's parents are visiting for the first time in Japan, to Tokyo, um, yeah. since we moved here. So we're going to kick them the fuck out. It's going to be difficult for her. Hang with you her. guys. It's going to be really hard. It is going to be really <laughs> hard. Oh my God. But it's Animal... Like, I've said this before to you. It's Animal Crossing. It was designed to only, like, be played a little bit at a time, right? That's what... That's what you always say. Isn't Nintendo like but pretty like adamant that you should definitely don't they like punish you for playing too much? There's just you get to a certain point in Animal Crossing where you can't really progress. Yeah. That much. There's no point anymore. Yeah. You're just walking around talking to the vis villagers over and but over. But that is you could fish not, all day. Yeah. Like that's not beginning days. Beginning days, I could still spend like. Yeah, the beginning hours. days probably have a lot. Yeah, just like yeah, exploring, of course, all the nooks and crannies, digging every. Like, cool yeah. because you dig now. So the things you used to, I remember last time I played Animal Crossing was on the, the GameCube, except yeah. for that short little bit that we did on the show and put profane things into your copy of Animal Crossing that you subsequently gave to your niece. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, the... I uh, I remember the things you do during a day is like you can dig up the entire village. Mm. <laughs> you can, can chop down a bunch of trees. You can get fossils. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can go fishing infinitely, basically. But was the only thing you could do forever. You only have like your inventory is only so big. Right. And like you can go store things and sell things as long as the shop's open still. Wasn't there diminishing returns with how many bells um, you get for things? Like, isn't it after a while of buying things, he starts to give you less and less bells for them or something? I thought there was like something like that built in. I might be just... Mm, yeah. I don't remember. I thought... Oh yeah, I... you can catch bugs. You can oh, get yeah. stung by bees. Wait, that's a goal? Well, for me it was because it was my <laughs> part of your look was having a stung eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you could go to Tortimer Island. And there's social aspects built in, right? Like you can um, visit with friends now. Mm -hmm. but did you ever do that with the last copy? I did. I did it with my nieces and nephews, which was pretty cool because I was living in Vancouver and they weren't living in Toronto, mm -hmm. so. But we only did that a couple times, unless we were both in the same place, like. If I was in Ontario, did anybody actually use that a lot? Like I don't know. visiting with people, like did that did was that a fun feature? That? I thought I remember it being in the last copy, kind of clunky. Yeah, it was a little bit clunky. Yeah, I thought it was like you had to like kind of set up a date because it's a Nintendo and it's an online thing. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought I remember it being like really like kind of involved, getting it all together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe it'll be better now, especially since people are paying for online with Nintendo. Right. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, everybody joining us today. We're about to begin. Is there anything that you hope that they show us in the next 25 minutes? Uh, should I get a copy is what I'm wondering. They need to sell me. On you getting a copy and me getting yeah. a copy? Yeah. Well, we're also have to get you a switch yeah so i would have to get a switch probably more likely is i would get a switch light you would get a switch light no no we would just get another switch and you'd keep the new one i would take i would, I would take over one? your old one why because you play the switch i don't <laughs> like so i'd why be would i get the little i'd probably actually get the switch light yeah i, I don't know like i, I mean they're hmm. cheaper right we only need one switch yeah. that can hook up to the tv for the show you they just released a pink one, salmon one. I heard they had a um, special one for Animal Crossing. Mm. Oh! Wow, that just was sudden. Here we go! All right, guys. It's the Animal Crossing Direct for... Oh, God.
I love your voice. Okay, yeah. Tom Nook is literally gonna put you on a deserted island. Like, this isn't a, a vacation getaway. He's using the Nooking Deserted Island Getaway. He's gonna drop you on a deserted island. This is one trip that we here at Nooking can recommend with confidence. <laughs> Your destination is a peaceful island where it's the little things that count. I love the Animal Crossing character walking with a <laughs> big ass. Designing your home. Are the humans a bit taller now? Simply enjoying life. They look like it. Everyone looks a little, maybe a little bit taller. No, the humans the are. Yeah, yeah the humans departure. just seem it's a bit taller to me now. We detail the many features and perks included in the getaway package. Okay. The proportions have changed, yes. I don't like it that much. Oh well. Hey, buddy. Upon arrival at the local airport, you'll be met with a deserted island positively teeming Wait a minute. with nature's bounty. It's a deserted island, but it has an airport? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> when applying for the getaway package, you can choose This doesn't feel very deserted. To from a wide range of options. Okay. Would you like to live in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere? Ooh. Ooh. Don't worry. What no will you guys choose? choose experience all that the four seasons have to offer right from your island you'll probably want to choose northern so that you have the right right um, departure date is seasons for your location yeah. 20th that's when the northern hemisphere will just be warming up for spring you won't have to wait long for the cherry blossoms to be in full bloom just like in japan Oh, I'm gonna dig that! Summertime brings its own share of delights. Cicadas. You'll see a wealth of lush greenery, <laughs> not to mention a veritable treasure trove of bugs native to the island. Come autumn, the color of the leaves on the trees will gradually change, and so too will the activities available to you, from collecting seeds and mushrooms to gathering mushrooms? autumn leaves. Seeds! And in winter, the island transforms into a chilly snowscape. The usual winter activities are a jolly good time. And the night sky above is particularly spectacular this the time of year. Borealis. As you can see, when the seasons change, the activities available to oh, you change shoot. along with them. But the simple joys of nature are just one reason that the island is such a great setting for what your was new life. Was it something special? It was that was Christmas long after time. Your arrival, you and your fellow residents will receive an orientation session from the Nooking staff. Okay. So the animals arrive with you. You bring them along with you. At this time, you'll be provided with a tent included in your getaway package. Hey, Bob. You can chat with other residents about where you want to set up your new home base. It's deserted island. Other residents? Deserted island. Well, they came with me. If they're not sure where to move, please help them find a perfect place okay. to their new lives I'll as tell well. them to go right Hopefully, beside me so that, agree that cooperation between I, residents I can, can walk be over if I get scared. Although you're moving to a deserted island, you're still getting a package deal. On the island, we've included two facilities to make your life there more comfortable. It's not deserted. Visit this tent in the plaza to access residents. <laughs> Nook's kids are creepy as fuck. It's open 24 hours a day, providing residents with services such as the sale of everyday goods. Did he always have two kids? Yep. The purchase of unwanted items. And helpful advice about living on a deserted island. And by attending our free DIY Crafting workshops, Crafting DIY. A variety of items. Is this new to this version? Crafting? Yeah. First, just learn the DIY recipe. Oh, where'd you get the recipes? Then, choose what to make. Oh. And there you have it. It's ready. It's still represented by a leaf. Mm. As you can see, 
with enough recipes and the right materials. Oh yeah, help the world wonderful things, even on a deserted island. You'll enrich your life uh -huh. with your own fans. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Are you experienced with DIY crafting? Well then, stop by our Look how cool this girl is. Yeah, I want to be her. You can learn skills like changing the color of your DIY furniture or decorating them with your own custom designs. Ooh, yeah, custom designs again. That's fun. We can make a D. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make dick art. Oh, that's cool. Is she going to be able to have a house or is it always going to be a tent and outdoors? I was kind of wondering that too. Like, is sort of the outside the only part you... You'll probably be able to make a house. You'll be able to upgrade yeah. as time goes on. To the airport, where you'll first land on the island. It's also a oh, those are his nephews? Those aren't his sons? Hours a day, beginning the day after oh. your arrival. Because who would fuck Tom Nook? At the airport, you can use the internet or local wireless to invite residents of other islands to yours. <gasps> The dodo claps when people arrive. Yeah. And visit other islands yourself. In this oh, that's island, creepy villager. Including you can be on a given island at one time. How many? Eight. Up to eight players and make on one island. Memories. That's more than can be in a Minecraft server, server stably. It also offers an in-game postal service, allowing you to send messages. Feel free to use this service to interact with other residents. Hello. I made a flower. This is another piece. Will this be your first time living somewhere so remote? On a deserted island, no less? Don't worry. Here are three big ways we plan to support you in acquainting yourself with your new surroundings. Hi, Tom. You're starting a new life. So in addition to your tent, Nook Inc. will provide some basic necessities as well as services. No need to worry. Oh, cozy. Of these, the true standout is your specially built Nook phone. It has the standard apps like a camera and map. But over time, we will provide new applications to support all your deserted island needs. Hmm. A Nook phone. Interesting. At the start of each day, our CEO, Mr. Nook, will make an island-wide broadcast to all residents that I will immediately skip over with mandatory attendance. Island events, deserted island life advice, and more. Nook just started a POW camp. <laughs> Since this is likely your first time on a deserted island, we're offering guidance and inspiration through the Nook Mileage Program. Ooh. Great for when you're looking to participate in some activities and you're in need of some recommendations. In 10 miles, oh no. Wait, shouldn't there be Nook Miles? Why is Nintendo injecting its branding into the Animal Crossing world? These experiences, oh, it is. Up okay, I was like, I, swear I, it said didn't see, miles. I didn't see the Nintendo uh, Miles. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe I was just a dyslexia. The miles you save up can be used to pay off the cost of the getaway package, and they can eventually be exchanged for in-game rewards at the Nook Stop Terminal in Residence. Multimedia Services. Terminal? It's like a little uh, family mart. Rewards range from in-game Nook Inc. merchandise. So you get Nook miles instead of island. coins? No, bells are still a thing. Oh yeah, bells, I mean. Huh. But they have multiple, just like miles in the real world, they're another currency that's completely separate. Mm. It did say Nintend miles? Weird, because then they proceeded to only say Nook miles after that. And so we'd like to take this opportunity to talk about some possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions. Don't give us This some. is one nature-rich island. It's possible that you could encounter dangerous insects such as wasps or scorpions. Oh my fuck. If you get stung, you may end up somewhat <laughs> irritated. Or worse. Wasps. Dead. Should you come across one you don't think you can catch, try Japan to knows deadly wasps. Yeah, they're like this big. Symptoms yeah. Symptoms can be cured with medicine available at resident services. And we recommend keeping some on you, just in case. Whatever. Nook would be the first one to sell you an inflated price EpiPen. You're on your own, 
That's so pretty. Pick that grass. Be careful when taking a late night stroll. The getaway package promises a little adventure. So if you think about it, this is actually a plus. There's ghosts now. Your deserted island is surrounded by the sea, which means you may come across a castaway from time to time. Of course. Luckily, rest away. First. Give him a holler to make sure- Honk shoe, honk shoe, snoring sounds, etc. <laughs> He's usually pretty funny. Please offer all the support He gives you can. really good Then stuff because he's a traveling guy. Yum, yum, yum. It's <laughs> pretty good localization. Hmm. It's theoretically possible you could get lost or find yourself unable to move forward. What? In situations get lost. like these, it's best not to panic. Instead, simply use the rescue service. What? The island's gonna be big enough that you're gonna have to do that? There is no way. In no time. I heard the Animal Crossing map is seven times the size of Red Dead. I heard that too. Seven times? I heard yeah. ten. Wow, that sounds about Given right. the services we've introduced so far, there should be plenty to enjoy on the island already. But if you want your in-game life to be even more comfortable, we will offer a number of optional extras. Does the environment seem a bit rough? Do you need a little more space for all your stuff? If you said yes to either of these questions, well, there you go. Have an option for Is that the first time they've shown that you'll ha actually be able to have a real house? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That... Oh my god. 98,000 bells. That's only $980. You can pay it back at your own pace. Yeah, but it was like literally an outhouse. <laughs> oh. That house offers so much more space than the tent you'll start with. And also has its own storage spaces capable of holding any furniture and baggage you're not displaying. That way, everything's nice and tidy. Can I put my tent inside my house? You get to be your very own interior designer. Yeah, you do. Wow. That's what you're gonna choose? Like. Alright. You'll get the most out of Ooh. living there. Next floor. Needs more windows. Easy. Holy crap. Change yeah, for real. At any time. As you can see here, Stick some we wood in there. The heavy lifting. A good nice big old log. Focus on redecorating while viewing the room as a whole. Oh! That's neat. Look at that macrame. Uh huh. Amazing. If you own a house, we can also offer you additional extension and remodeling services. Fuck yeah! Whatever your situation, I'm gonna get that. Appropriate plans available, so please don't hesitate to ask. But what if it could be bigger? He always says that. <laughs> what if it could be bigger? What if it could be bigger? Your Nook Miles can be exchanged for in-game rewards, including Nook Miles tickets. These can be used to travel to distant islands. The destination of these tours differs each time. Interesting. And it depends on how the pilot is feeling. They're mystery tours, so to speak. These far off destinations are small deserted islands full of trees and flowers. And other fruits that you can't course, get. You can take many items back home with you. And like, How did you know this? Because it's just like... These are old features? In like other towns, sometimes they would have like peaches, but I didn't have peaches. So we trade. Hi, Margie. So do you think any of this is procedurally yes. oh, generated? Oh, oh my god, this is so cool. No, I don't know. Get that spider. It's a jumping spider. I'm so sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, do I need a switch? I could just go to your island. I can live on your island. Yeah, you can totally live on my island. And yeah, you can just do that. Making the others the followers. Oh, yeah, so one person controls the view. They can follow the leader around. That way, everyone can stay. No, they have their own view. I don't think so. They said oh. Joy Cons in the same room. Oh. That's the idea is local play. Mm. Yep. That way, With one copy of the game, which is good. Turns, You're gonna have a Even shitty tent, and I'm gonna have a big awesome. Yeah, I'll house. never upgrade. Ever. <laughs> 
found by followers will be stored in a recycle box at the Residence Services building. I don't like that this guy's name is Dad and he looks the same age as everybody else. <laughs> it's weirding me out. Maybe it's a joke like, okay, dad. <laughs> okay, let's, let's fuck. Because oh. they're actually in a relationship. Oh, He's just dad. Yeah. Daddy. With such a tool, you can use your smartphone's camera function to scan the QR codes of custom designs created in the Animal Crossing New Leaf or Animal Crossing wow. Happy Home Design. What? And then download them via. How did link. QR codes even work? It's like space time continuum. Yeah, it is. I don't know. When connected online, you can talk with owners of Animal Crossing New Horizons and the Nintendo Switch online smartphone app. Using your smartphone as a keyboard. Or That's what I'm gonna write. Oh. No link. But D is just a dumb visual. Okay. March of 2020, <laughs> soon after the scheduled departure, included in your deserted island getaway package. We hope it will enhance your experience. This is like a, a smartphone app that will allow you to do voice chat because the Nintendo online service has none. And mm -hmm. I mean, why not just use a service like yes. FaceTime? Yeah. <sighs> okay, part two. Please don't chase him though, right? You'll really get that deserted island bang for your buck. Especially. Oh my god, look how fat that little one is. <laughs> that animal's great. It's okay. So some of the animals are big. Come here, right? For this reason, we're planning to invite more animal residents to come live here. That said, we don't want you to feel like we're inviting others into your space carelessly. As such, we've secured this land in advance. Okay. I'm gonna get Hughes before they go downstairs. You may be able to invite some residents yourself. But we won't stop there. We're also planning to build additional facilities on the island. Nook's cranny. Abel sisters are back. Examples include a museum what was that place? showcasing the okay. ecosystem. Museum's the back, so all the fish that we catch will go in there and all the fossils we a get. Shop full of ready-made furniture and goods you can't craft yourself. Got a shop with Timmy and Tommy a as the fashion items. Taylor's again. This is all looking exactly the same. And a campsite where you can invite guests for recreational purposes. Oh, hells yeah. If you leave, you're going to get your butt kicked, buddy, so stay here. <laughs> We're hoping to enrich our oh, the museum. Yeah. Did they show the owl? No, they didn't. Huh. Shops and facilities. With a little help from some connections our CEO made in the past. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Maybe we'll get Rodney. The Residence Services Center is only a simple tent now, but we plan to eventually expand oh, this tent like into a scared. proper building. We will also continue to expand our housing business, which is one of the main departments of Nook Inc. We can and will offer to expand or remodel your house while providing moving services for your house or local facilities. You can open awesome. your own shop. Mm, no. Oh. <gasps> there she is. Good morning. <laughs> For remodeling, we'll lean on staff experienced in providing operational support. That way, we can offer the utmost in services and advice. She's just so smiling. Wait, does this make her an employee of Nook? She didn't used to be an employee of Nook. She was just your employee. She was like secretary to you because you were the mayor, right? But yeah. now it seems like she's serving Nook. Because Nook's like the CEO. That's like the worst case scenario. Poor... R1 Harvey! We can show our island so special while simultaneously learning about customs we are familiar with. Oh my god. What is this wand? Kimono! <gasps> hey, you're back! We can offer up items that cannot be crafted on the island. Oh yeah. Cool. Kicks. And it's cool because he saw a variety of events it's for me. you to take part in, such as fishing. Oh, cruises. I see. A fisher who goes fishing with you. At the plaza in front of 
this is. Whoa, you're badass, dude. Free Whoa, that was a dinosaur? Special events cool. with seasonal guests and more. Hmm. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> is the other one? Uh, it was a peak. Carnival? Carnival. Shut up! That's pretty cool. Who is this? You want him? These include ways to help you and your fellow residents. Look at them. From point a right to you C. have to buy the infrastructure for the I island? You always do. <laughs> and you can only have, in the last one, you could only have three bridges. But you're not the mayor anymore? Yeah, true. That's bullshit. Uh. And once the island is fully decked out, we will provide you with a permit. Own paths. What? What? <laughs> oh, that looks so satisfying. In addition, oh, cool. we can also provide you with a permit that allows you to undergo major construction on the terrain itself. So Nook sells the permit to allow you to even do it. And cliffs. Yeah. Holy crap, you can just do everything. Oh, beautiful! Wait, what, how does that work? But do you have to pay to do each of those things? I bet you do. Son of a bitch. As you've seen today, the deserted island getaway package offers you a I love the campfire. Surrounded by nature, just yeah. as its name suggests. Yes! Mm. Or we can lead a comfortable life in a perfectly planned community. No, oh, I want chaos. The choice is yours. That's why. Dinosaur bones shouldn't be outside. What kind of life do you want to live? That's where they want to be. Is it's it your party at your birthday? The deserted island getaway package <gasps> presented by Nook Inc. Hey, it's one of those fish. Is on track for March 20th of 2020. We're looking forward to meeting you all on the island. Yeah, me too. Holy shit. Now they have to do FAQs, right? Mm. I've made my decision. <laughs> Questions. Can I play the game together with my family on a single Nintendo Switch system? Yes! With one Nintendo Switch system in the game, up to eight people in your family can live I on only one have island. one. The maximum number yeah. of residents for an island well, is eight. We have kitties, but they don't play. Each user can register one resident. Did you see Grandpa had uh, the squid from Splatoon that does this? Oh, really? That's his icon. <laughs> That's amazing. The what are the fashionable yeah. twin? Supports amiibo figures and amiibo cards from oh. the Animal Crossing series. Okay. Eh. You guys. That's cool. You can also invite these familiar Oh my god. I really need that hit. Those gnomes don't belong. Why? Yeah, that is kind of They look graphically wrong. And yeah. they're really out of place. What is that? We plan to support additional Isn't that what the gyroids, gyroids were? Yeah, they better not was basically like gnomes. More information about visiting That's friends. weird. While visiting other islands online, you can communicate with friends or players not registered as friends using temporary passwords. These features can be restricted awesome. by controls. 
Oh, oh that's, that's a short. Great. That's nice and short. In order to protect the so you don't have to like have the whole so friend like code and yeah. know the name of their town. And yeah, it's just a five digit code. You can only use this tool when you're on a best friend's house. <gasps> my cousin's gonna be my best friend. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's gonna get this, right? No problem. And if she doesn't, I'm buying it for her. That's for damn sure. Uh. What if I lose my save data? Animal Crossing New Horizons does not support the save data cloud feature. However, we're planning to offer a service for recovering backed up save data from the server in certain circumstances, such as console damage or loss. Will there be a special <laughs> theme system to go along with the game? Yes, a special edition Animal Crossing mm. theme system will be released on March 13th. Is it coming to the West then? Before the game launches, a separate match and carrying case will be available. Because it's available now, right here. Nook Inc. supervised the console design. For we can buy that now. Pleasure. Yeah, it's it came out in Japan like right away, I think. Any free updates after launch? That's the ugliest, by yes. the way, system I've ever seen. Free updates after the game launches, and we'll continue I to actually don't mind it that seasonal much. events throughout the year. The first free update it will come to the last day, March 20th. By installing this update, you can celebrate bunny. I don't like that bunny. That's weird. I like bunny. Easter. Oh, everybody hates also, Easter. We're planning to roll out a Sorry. special offer Sorry. for both Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Animal Why Crossing Why aren't there Japanese prizes, holidays built into this? Receive special huh? items in each. Like, where's Setsuban? I don't know. I mean, they have... Details will be announced at a later date. Awesome. There's a the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Twitter account, so stay tuned. No, you don't, Lino, bro. Oh, one more thing. Done. Oh, boy. <gasps> oh, I'm so sad for Isabel. Yeah. Working for Tom Nook. Sort of a bummer. Yeah, man. I am super duper ready. Did he put, is there something like immediately posted to that Twitter account or what were they saying? I don't know. She worked for him during the happy home designer. Oh. Mm. Was she happy? Um, so is anyone not getting it? I feel like a lot of people are getting it. You pit, purchase your Switch for this? Amazing. We're getting it. So are you sold? What do you think? Are you skeptical? Do you think that you're going to get into it? I don't are you gonna... think I would do anything in it. It's just uh, I don't have any time for a time sink. Yeah. Especially with dreams. I have to. Oh, of course. <laughs> you're getting it. I just don't know that I'll, I'll spend that much time in it myself. This is a system seller for most of my friends. Oh my god, amazing. You don't have a Switch? Oh, shit, dude. I thought I'd take a look real quick at the... Um, Did you see this? In Dreams, yes. somebody made uh, an ode to, it's kind of sparse, but um, Diamond DNC, and I think our Turbo 2 Heinz did a little bit in there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> but these characters are all um, based on Dreams. So it's, this isn't Animal Crossing, this is Clouds Crossing, they call it. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just a demo of a rotating it Do hasn't been populated with things yet. The first time we saw how the world yeah, was, was so going to cool rotate when on they did the 3DS. I love it. I thought you were on there as a collaborator, though. I thought it showed you as a collaborator. Oh, probably just because you lent the pig detective to it. Ah, uh, yeah. There's it's Connie. Pig Wanna race me, Rupert? <laughs> I don't yeah, know if he's abandoned this because this came out a while ago. We took a look at this on the last did we? episode. Yeah, because it's really neat. I was commenting on there how like is. it even has the date. <laughs> I like cheese. Um, I think I she's think working on a bigger game like this. Somebody else oh, uh, took yeah. this because he made it remixable. She. She made it re remixable. And then they've taken the uh, m 
Yeah, I think this is the tech. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. <laughs> That's great. I don't know if they did anything with this. Uh, oh, I don't think so. I don't think this is working. There's one other oh. thing that was done in Animal Crossing, or I mean in Dreams for Animal Crossing, and this is a different thing. I think this is based on the last one. Is it going in and out? Just for a second there. Yeah, I'll pop it out. <laughs> oh, what? Is she sleeping? It looks like it. Don't wake her up. What's your first expandable? Just like my love life? <laughs> what? Oops. Well, anyways. I don't know if it's a like a really is it an accurate recreation of the town except not with the rotating obviously world. It's like um, a well, flat each version. Town could be different. Right. It's a little too spaced out for yeah. Animal Crossing, doesn't it? It feels like it a little bit. Cute though. Yeah, totally. Like, it has the time, and I like that it has the yeah. um, like compass at the top. Is it called a compass if it's just showing you? So I just brought this up to t so that you can talk while I have a background something. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? I'm totally excited. It looks like Animal Crossing. Yeah. It has some new things, which is cool, like the crafting. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of, I don't know, the old stuff that we loved. A lot of collecting and shit like that, filling out the museum. <laughs> God. We played a lot of that in we college. We did. We played it so much. On like I GameCube. remember on my birthday it being a priority that I like go have my party. And on the 3DS too. Putting off plans to go into Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was bad. <sighs> and any other features that like you were excited for? My main question going into it is how much, like, every island in the last Animal Crossing or every town was random? Or is it based yeah. on a bunch of different templates? I can't remember now. Hmm. How to pick. You actually layout. got to pick your layout? I think it was sort of similar to what it is in this layout. Okay. Like, you get to choose from a couple examples. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, being portable and on the TV at the same time, mm -hmm. that's pretty big, right? Because has there ever been a mobile Animal Crossing besides the one on the phone? I don't think so. Well, the 3DS. Wait. What? New Leaf. Oh, oh, they did sep spread, split up the whole thing. Yeah. What was the one? So New Leaf, what was its theme? Being a mare? Yes. And what was the one on? The GameCube? Wii U. GameCube was just Animal Crossing, period. We all know what that was. Vanilla Animal Crossing. You're just a villager. Wild World? What the fuck was Wild World? It was on the DS. What? <laughs> I don't know any of that. I don't think we played that one. Well, this is pretty sparse. It's very cute, though. No, it is, yeah. Um. <laughs> Let's go to the city Animal Crossing. Oh, my God. Yeah, this reminds me right here. During the thing, we did not see any of these guys. But we did see one. But we saw oh, an did icon, you? yeah. Oh, okay, but we saw those gnomes were odd to me. They just stood out so weird. They sometimes, were too detailed. They were too small and detailed. They had weird things like that. They had like sculptures and stuff in the last. Didn't fit the crossing. design aesthetic. Clashed. I didn't like it. Mm -mm. I didn't like it. Little, uh, oh dear. Something's wrong with Isabella. <laughs> this oh puppet was not. It was not crafted right. Sorry, Isabel. <laughs> Gnomes are always odd. The Animal Crossing train ride this person recreated. Mm. Yeah, I think that it looks like a pretty solid title. Yeah. Um, I am... I don't see the attraction still myself. I know, I'm so interested to see what will happen. Am I going to get obsessed with it? Like, like you are I, with Binding of Isaac? Yeah. Like, I 
was like kind of like wanted to be a completionist like I wanted all the sets and I wanted like Babby to collect Island. everything but I don't I feel like I don't have time to get that into it yeah like that's <laughs> That was a lot of time commitment. I mean, I could probably play it for like two hours a day, uh -huh. at least. That's what Nintendo intends for you to do. At least I'm that's joking. what they- I'm joking, two oh. hours is a long oh, that time is a lot for me to time. play video games. I mean, yeah, with all this shit that you got going. Yeah. Just don't put dicks anywhere and give the games to your niece, okay. Good call, good solid, call. Solid, solid um, um, advice there. I mean, she's older now, so. Not as bad? Not as bad? Well, that was a nice direct. I don't know, there, there was not a lot for me to riff on there. No. Because I don't care that much. I'll admit, like, there's a nostalgia effect for Animal Crossing that makes Just me, like, yeah, it's a cozy oh feeling. God, That's what everybody it plays totally it for, right? Coziness. Cozy feeling. Uh, oh, like... Just cold, shitty Toronto winters. Ugh. Oh my god, <laughs> and you just hole up in this little shit room that you're sleeping and living in with one other person. and <laughs> oh, Those were the days. Those were the days. On a, on a single bed. On a single, yeah. Those, oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was the Nintendo Direct. Well, I am excited to, like, maybe check out other islands. Well, yeah, I mean, that's probably island. the thing. It seems the interactability. I would like to see what activities you'll be able to do with people when they come to your island. Will mm -hmm. it be more than just walking around doing busy work, or will you actually be able to do some mini games or maybe some yeah. fun things? Yeah. It'd be nice if they added some stuff that actually made it worthwhile to interact in a town. Well... I mean, in the previous game, like I said, there were certain things you could get on your island that you couldn't get on other islands, so... What else would you do if you met up? Um, if you, well, like, created my, a play sesh? With my nieces and nephews, everybody has sort of themes or whatever. Right, so you just go around looking at everything? Well, I would collect certain things that I know my nieces and nephews would like. And so once I'd you're done those trading, yeah. once you're done with that, what do you do? Was you just there anything? go around and look at look at their houses. So that's it. Yeah. So basically, I guess what I'm saying is, I hope this one they'll add like some fun little things, like yeah. you know, maybe like come on over and we'll play, you know, Red Rover. Oh, There's yeah. eight of us. We can play Red Rover. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, you know, go to a KK Slider concert or like you know. Oh, I think maybe you could do that. I'm just coming up with ideas here. No, in previous ones. Play at Tortimer Island? Play at Tortimer Island? Oh yeah, there was Tortimer Island. So you could you could play stuff at Tortimer Oh, this is kind of coming back to me. Yeah. You could all go there and do something. Some things. Mm, Magic Sam time traveled as soon as he got the Wii version, which got rid of all the grass in the town and the family wasn't pleased. <laughs> oh no! Uh, the cus the island customizability looks way more intense than previous Animal Crossing. Oh yeah, you couldn't do terraforming any of that stuff. You could not do that. You could like move bridges around for mouth. Yeah. Terraforming. Yeah. That's pretty big, I guess. Yeah. You know, that's way more than just planting trees. Yeah. Uh. Interesting. We'll definitely, you know, check it out when it comes out. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you next time on Video Games Awesome Live. This is a mini show and trailer. Goodbye.